Actually, this this isn't a business car, but it's a really cool car. That's that my son-in-law lives here. He's a captain in the Marines. Wow, that's mm -hmm. awesome. And uh, Molly and him got married in our backyard. Oh, and that's so, awesome. awesome. Yeah, so he is an officer, and that's his nephew. Mm -hmm. So I sent that to his whole family, an officer and a gentleman. Oh, that's and awesome. My sister, his mom, called me up, and I had to send like 10 more cards out because yeah. they all want them. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get that at Walmart. No, no, nope. not even at Vistaprint. <laughs> <laughs> or Shutterfly. Or Shutterfly, yeah. <laughs> But uh, here's an example of how I go after large listings. You know, everybody else is just dropping information off about how great the realtor is, how great their company are, or what their statistics are. And that's all they get. So I drive by an expired listing and I take a picture of the house. That's a million and a half dollar house. And they get all this junk from all these other realtors and then they open up. And when I go after luxury listings, I always send two dozen cookies. Mm -hmm. And realtors say, my God, you're spending $35 on a prospect you don't know if you're gonna to get to meet or not? Absolutely, because I'm gonna make $30,000. Yeah, right, yeah, So exactly. how many of these can I send now? Right, if you got one life. listing yes. and you took that profit and you put it in an account that was to do yes. nothing, but, oh. Right. And see, the, the first, I would say three or four years, I wasn't doing luxury homes, but I was just sending the card out with a picture of the house on front. And no gifts, no brownies, no, no cookies, and that worked, and that worked phenomenally, but, People love getting a box. Yeah. Yep. So when they get a box, all of us do, no matter how old, I'm 60 years old, I still love opening a box. Uh -huh. You can't wait to see what's in it. But when you open that box and it's an expired listing, they see a picture of their house. They're thinking, oh my God, who did this and how they do it? Yeah. So, you know, it gets me the listing appointment. What do you put on the inside? Oh, well, on that particular one, things are different. On that particular oh, okay. one, I put a history. That home had been listed by three different companies, three different times. Uh -huh. So, and then on the right, I put you know, their family name. The left side of this card shows the history of attempts to sell your home. No one in greater Cincinnati markets luxury homes like we do. All other agents put a home in the MLS. But I just went to the history and I made up JPEG yeah. Yeah. of the history and put it right inside the card. Uh -huh. That blows them away. Yeah. And on the back, the branding is it's phenomenal. A beautiful yeah. picture yeah. of downtown Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah it is. Now, how come you don't put your picture on it? Because realtors are so hell-bent on putting their picture on everything. That's you don't, why you, send out but cards it. works. But with That's it. why send out cards works. Because it's, every other realtor is making it about them and their yeah. company and their logo and how great they are. Send out cards, we make it about our prospect or our clients. That's what we do. You know, I mean, I occasionally, this is a good example. These clients have bought like five houses for me in the last 10 years. And they bought this one, and they have two kids. Their kids are probably like six or eight years old, and they love the brownies. They yeah. like cookies, but I know I've sent them five or six boxes of brownies. Yeah. They love getting brownies. And every time, I always put a picture of their kids on there. Yeah. And I was leaving a couple months ago, and their dog followed me out. <laughs> and I thought, you know, send out people who love their dogs. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, I've never sent the dog any dog treats. So with send out cards, you can send dog treats. Yeah. So I snapped that picture of Juno from my car. And it just says, uh, Juno, you are, it's a, you know, it's this message from Juno to me. Jim, you act like we're buddies, but you send treats to the others and not me. Oh, oh he, my gosh. Yeah, and that's a picture of Juno. Oh my gosh, that that's genius. Yes. I love it. And they have, these people own an $800,000 house. They have like all my cards. They have a, a huge, like a 40 by 50 great room mm -hmm. with this like 12 foot mantle above their fireplace. The only thing on there is it's Jim McCord's cards. <laughs> nice, because yeah. it's about them. Right, if, if I send pictures, and a lot of realtors that have signed up under me do this, they actually send cards to me and their clients, and they put their picture oh, on realtors. Gosh, yeah. It's like, really? You you're going to throw you, it in the trash. You think I'm going to keep that? I know. Now, if I sent these people six cards, even with brownies, with pictures of Jim McCord, they're they going to put them kidding. on their mail? No, no, they're not. No. I no. know. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's ridiculous. This guy, uh, he's got some property in Campbell County, and he's an old guy. He doesn't live on that farm, but it's about three miles from downtown Cincinnati. It's like 30 acres. And whenever he sells it, it's worth a fortune. So I stop in and see him every now, like once a year. I just, if I see his truck there, I stop in and say, hey, Mr. Stefan, how are you doing? And, you know, I always say, I always say, can I take your picture? Well, I was driving by a couple months ago, and Mr. Stefan was sitting in a, in a, on his tractor uh -huh. at the end of the driveway, 
because the energy company was cutting trees off the wires. And I, and I passed him up because I was kind of rushed. I thought, oh my God, that's a car moment. I got to try yeah. that. So I turned around and I parked in his driveway and I parked right in front of him like that. And I said, Mr. Stefan, how are you doing? He goes, I'm doing great. I'm just watching him destroy my tree. <laughs> oh, you know, they're cutting. He had no yeah. choice. Uh -huh. Right. And I said, can I take your picture? He goes, well, if you're going to send me some more brownies. <laughs> <laughs> so he got this from me, you know. That's, that's awesome. And I, I, you say, I do occasionally put a picture of me. Uh -huh. But that you see, that's not a professional picture no, like yeah, I would normally yeah. use. But he's an old farmer. He doesn't yeah. want to see Jim McCord in a suit and tie. Yeah, yeah. And there, there's not even a question who he's going to call when he sells at 30 acres. Yes. Uh -huh. And that's like a $2 million piece of property. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is ridiculous. So what are some things that this guy is doing? The one that's a send-out cards? Uh... Well, I know he created a landing page. Uh-huh. And I know that somehow he's emailing that landing page out to realtors. And then when they respond, when they respond with anything, and it, what he's emailing out is, are one or more of my videos. Mm -hmm. And when they respond, reply back to him, he goes ahead and orders a book and sends him a book. Now, he's not doing it through send-out cards. He's doing it through Amazon. Amazon yeah. But he, I told him, you should spend the extra money and do it. And the through reason he should do it through send-out cards is he could go to that, that realtor has already expressed an interest. Go to that realtor's website, right click, save a picture of that realtor, mm -hmm. click on his listings, make sure he has some listings first off, take the most expensive listing or sometimes they're pendings, put that on the front of the card, send that card to him with my book from Send Out Cards. Yes. That's going to blow him Powerful. away. Yes. Just getting an Amazon packet with the book is good but and he may or may not read it. But if he gets the card with his or her picture, yep. and somebody put their listing on there, yeah. he's, he or she's going to think, who did that? How yes. did they do that? Yep, so exactly. That's, yeah. So he's going to, he created a landing page, he's sending it to realtors, the ones that show interest. Well, that's so right. It's brilliant, really. Yeah, it is, it is. I mean, I can't wait to do that. I'm not doing that yet. I'm still focusing on real estate. Yeah. But I will be. Yeah, heck yeah. This is a listing, a uh, six and a half million dollar listing up in Michigan. Nice. I'm not licensed in Michigan, but we sold this gentleman's house in Cincinnati last year, this past summer. And it had been listed by the top luxury home company in Cincinnati twice. No showings. And I sent him a card with two dozen cookies to get an appointment. I had never met him. He had us in. I told him, you know, his pictures were horrible. I, I told him his pictures were horrible. His pictures were horrible. I don't say it if it's not true. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a $2 million house listed and take pictures with a cell phone. Yeah. You know, you don't do that. And I explained that to him. I showed him pictures of our listing. He listed with us. We ended up selling his home. And while it was pending, he goes, Jim, my wife and I have a 6 or $7 million home up on Lake Michigan. And he goes, I've never met a realtor like you and Michelle before. He goes... I don't want to be meeting with realtors. He goes, well, you select the realtor and you get whatever referral tip you can. Wow. And so I called like 10 or 12 Keller Williams agents first. I'm a Keller Williams agent. And we wanted a 50% tip. That sounds greedy. So the 10 or 12 Keller Williams agents all said, are you nuts, McCord? We're not, we'll give you a 20% tip, not 50%. It sounds greedy, but we're going to do the marketing. Yeah, you're going to do all the marketing. Right. Yeah. You know, not, we're not licensed, so it has to be under the Michigan. But I couldn't get one Keller Williams agent to do it. So I called Amy Thorson. You guys probably know Amy. She's a send out card. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that name was And cool. I love Amy. I met her at a couple of the conventions. And I, I didn't call her. I sent her a Facebook message. I said, Amy, I'm having a problem getting a good uh, agent, realtor. And could you refer me to somebody? And she knew uh, this lady, Megan Luce. And uh, she said, call Megan. I'll let her know you're calling. So I called Megan. And I told Megan. I said, Megan, we got a 6 or $7 million house up in Lake Michigan. And our seller wants us to pick the listing agent. You have to market the way we do down here. And we want a 50% tip. And Megan's brilliant. I guess that's partially why she's in Send Out Cards. <laughs> but she goes, Jim, of course I'll give you a tip on a $6 million listing. <laughs> she said, of course I'll give you half of that. Because that's just like you giving me a $3 million yes, listing. Exactly. And saying, I don't want any tips. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So she's got that listed. And we're sending these cards out for Megan. You know, you can't put our name on there. Yeah. And we're going to get a 50% tip of a $6 million sale. Now, it might sell for five. But I got that first listing. We sold yeah. it. I got this listing. All not because of Jim McCord or Kevin Williams. It's because of send up cards. Yes. You know? yes. And you're selling to you know a local celebrity because he's a Bengal. 
Well, that's who we're marketing to. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's, that's a bangle that gets that. Yeah, it's uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's really ridiculous. That's awesome. So, what is something you could say? You're going to speak right here to realtors out there that are not using send out cards and they're just their everyday realtor that are sending their normal stuff, their normal postcards and flyers. What can you say to them? Well, I can say I didn't get it either for six months. I, I absolutely didn't get it because it's so far out of the box of what any other real estate agent is doing. But they have to try it. And I really believe if they either watch a couple of my videos mm -hmm. or they read the book, they'll get it. And, but I know for a fact that if they'll sign up and send one card a day, just one card a day, Monday through Friday, for one month. And they, you, everybody who signs a realtor up, you need to specify and let them know. because, And that's not, uh, it's not like realtors are stupid. They're not. They're used to doing things the realtor way. Yeah. You got to make sure that they understand that every card they send out does not have their picture or their company on the front of the card. They can put whatever they want on the inside, but the front of the card always has to be about the person that's opening that card, that envelope or that box. And it and that's why it works because it's about the prospect or the client, not about the realtor or the real estate company. Have you ever tracked how much money and listings you've made from cards? Yeah, I'm over $300,000. Yeah. Easily over 300,000 additional real estate commissions. And that's great, but it, that figure would be a lot more if I stay in the real estate business much longer. Because just three years ago, I started listing homes over a million dollars or more. Now here in San Diego, a luxury home would start at two and a half or three million. A million dollar home wouldn't be a luxury home. In Cincinnati, a million dollar home is a luxury home. The first 22 years, I never listed or sold one million dollar home. Never went after them. Because send out cards work so well, I thought, well, I'm gonna try it on a luxury home. And I went after a luxury home. I had no idea what I was doing. I was nervous. I don't know how to talk to wealthy people. That's what I thought. You know, they're just like the rest of us. Yeah. But I thought, oh my God, what am I going to say even if I get the listing appointment? So it was an expired $2.2 million listing. I drove by, took a picture of the house, sent them a card with that picture on the front. And it was a three panel card. The three panels, I put the picture of their house. It was this big sprawling house. And I hit span. So the whole three panels was his house. And just a literal note saying, I'm different than all other realtors you've ever met. I'd love to meet with you. And sent that with two dozen cookies. That's awesome. And he called me up and listed with me that's like the awesome. next week. And I thought, oh my God, that's crazy, you know? Yeah. I'm going to have to try that again. <laughs> <laughs> but I went back to the office and I put an expired <laughs> I may try that yeah, again. I didn't do that. Yeah, I couldn't wait to get back that to the office. That felt good. <laughs> and, you know, I went, I went to the office and I pulled listings that expired over the last six months that didn't either go pending or sell or get relisted. And in Northern Kentucky, there's not a lot of luxury homes. So there was only three in the last six months. And over the next week, I created a card, which was saved from my last card. All I did was change the name and the photos, created a card for each of those three listings. And that month I listed all three of them. Wow. Four listings over a million dollars. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize I was creating a system and then I looked at the history of sales over a million dollars in Northern Kentucky. And if you go back to January 1st of 2000, it averages now four sales a year. That's it. Four sales a year over a million dollars. Wow. That's not much. You can't make a living on that. Yeah. But two miles away from my house is Cincinnati in the Ohio River. Mm -hmm. So I got licensed in Ohio where they average 120 sales over a million dollars a year. And now, uh, like this month, we're listing four homes over a million dollars in January. That's four. awesome. So I've listed like 32 homes. We listed this house in Michigan. We have a closing next week in Asheville, North Carolina that we're not licensed at, but we got a listing here. The that seller the loved the way we market it, yeah. kind of like David did at that house I showed you. He said, Jim, can you find an agent in Asheville that can do what you can do? Well, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> and we got a $4 million listing in Indiana. Wow. And uh, so now we're branching out and, and working with realtors licensed in other states because Nobody does what we do. I've been with Remax, I've been with Coal Banker, and now I'm with Keller Williams. None of those companies or any of the regional companies have anything that can touch send out cards. Yeah. None of them do. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, there you have it. Here's his book, you guys. Here it is. You can get it on Amazon, or you can get it from Send Out Cards, or if you want us to send it to you, send your Send Out Cards friend, and they'll send it to you. He's got pictures and stories of his listings and how he does it. And it's the number one selling real estate book right now on Amazon. 
There you go. There you go. See it, see it, see it. Okay. 